I have to find some coca. We start our journey at the San Pedro market in search of fresh coca leaves. It's commonly known for producing cocaine. This is the coca. Would you like a bag? Yes. yes. The best way to get started is to try it the Peruvian way. So Joe brews up some mate de coca tea. Hot water in it. Okay. Nothing more. This works really good for altitude sickness. This would be illegal to do in the, in the United States of America. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? This would be illegal to do in the, in the United States. That's right. This tea is illegal in most countries around the world. Why? Coca is most commonly known for its use in the production of cocaine. It takes over two acres or 800 pounds of coca leaves to produce one kilo of cocaine, and when taken in its natural form, does not cause any major physiological or psychological effects. In about 10 minutes, it'll be a little, yeah. it'll be a little wobbly. With that in mind, Joe has created this drink called... It's cocaine. Cocaine. <laughs> Literally, it's going to blow your mind. Oh, All okay. Right. I guess I wasn't prepared for that, but I will accept that. He uses the coca leaf to represent coca in its natural form, a coca-infused sugarcane spirit called canyazo to represent its more innocent form, and dry ice to represent its illicit form. Salute, salute. Salute, salute. So there's a, like there's, there's a taste in there that I'm not familiar with. Yeah. Actually, it's cocaine. 